Hello everybody, I want to give you a warm hearty welcome into our latest road trip on my 30 miles per hour challenge in Euro Truck Simulator 2. If you've not already done so and you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button, hit the bell notification and give me a big thumbs up, it helps me out a great deal. So, I'm still a driver of hire. And Turn I've been right. employed today by Usan Logistics in Budapest in Hungary. Now this company have given me a MAN TGX with a 400 horsepower engine and a 12 speed gearbox. And on the trailer is 21 tonnes of sugar, which is bound for Wilnet Transport in Beograd. And somebody's got an absolute sweet tooth. So Go this journey on. that we're going to be going on is a total distance of 181 miles and we're going to be paid handsomely of £4,117 because my game is in English once this delivery is complete what can I tell you about the route um, we're going to be travelling on the M5 southbound from Budapest until we get to the border crossing at Sesgad I don't know if that's how you pronounce it I'm not Hungarian I'm not Serbian that's how I pronounce it in English anyway so I'll take it as it is and that border crossing is some 86 miles away but once we pass over the border into Serbia, we will travel the remaining 95 miles to Beograd on the A1. So, what's the reason why I've not been doing any commentary on some of my videos? Well, I'll tell you that. Um, I bought a Snowball microphone and Go it came with on. a cable, the USB lead. It wasn't the original lead. From it, so after a while the connector came loose and my microphone stopped working. But I still had content to put out, so I thought rather than leave it and not have nothing going out for a couple of weeks whilst I got a new cable because they're quite difficult to get hold of if you don't know the right places, which I don't. I decided to do some content without commentary. Um, I don't know where it's gone down. I don't think it's gone down really well, but. Some people prefer it that way, and some people prefer to have me commentating over. Well, after about three weeks, the new cable came through. It works fine, looks good. But I'm gonna get back onto it and putting some commentary into my videos. But I'd like to see what's been happening. I'd like to tell you what's been happening over the last four or five weeks. Now, the last time I did any commentary Go on the video. Up. I think I had about 27 subscribers and I want to thank everybody that has subscribed because I'm now past the 100 mark which is absolutely brilliant for my channel it's dying in its infancy less than 18 months old and I just can't believe that the way that things have taken off at the moment I was expecting well I wasn't expecting I was hoping to get to 50 subscribers for the end of the year and I've surpassed that and I just can't believe that people are actually watching my content and subscribing to my channel it's brilliant it's the well, I just want to thank everybody that's subscribed to my channel everybody that's commented on my channel and given me a like it's uh, overwhelming the question I'm hearing you ask is what is my 30 miles per hour challenge well I'm gonna tell you at this moment in time, I'm building a trucking company from scratch, nothing, starting out as a driver for hire and doing jobs to make enough money so that I will eventually own my own truck. The kicker is, I can only travel between jobs at 30 miles per hour. I can't exceed that speed. It's a bit like the film speed, whereas if I go over 30, my truck will explode. We don't want my truck to explode, but that's the scenario and that's all oh good for short haul jobs like this one we're on this comes more challenging when we start leveling up and we start getting jobs that are further afield more long haul stuff because of the time restraints and the driving time I have it on the mode where you have to sleep you have to have your rest so in a day I could probably only do a maximum of 300 miles, 400 miles, which is going to really put pressure on me to get the jobs done. 
I can't take any loans from any banks so I'm totally self-sufficient on any truck purchases any trailer purchases because my driver has a zero credit rating and the banks won't touch him with a barge pole so let's get on and enjoy the journey and I just say once again that if you hit that subscribe button hit the bell notification for any further videos and smash that like button and if you haven't already done so give my other playlist a look my American Truck Simulator and my FSX FS Economy so if you're interested guys I'm going to start doing some live streaming possibly on Thursday evenings with my second driver I uh, could also join a few of my buddies on their streams if they're on multiplayer and at weekends if time restrictions are not enforced because that's when we sit down and we have our family time I could possibly do some short FSX flights these are all going to be shout out streams so we can all get together and we can all grow together I've met some fantastic people in live streams and we can all help each other grow just to give support to some brilliant content creators it's all fun and we all have the same interests whether you're into simulators, shoot em ups vlogging or live stream discussions there's always something for everybody if there are any problems or questions we can all help each other out that's to do personal life pro could be or computers internet problems, youtube problems, streaming problems, anything we're all going to help each other out but yeah that's all in the pipeline within the next few months I'll still have all my other little projects that are on my playlist that are still active so happy times are ahead and exciting times also also I'll leave links in the descriptions to my discord, my steam id and my twitter feed so feel free to add me and you can also experience my journey and I can experience your journeys also so my wife Jude's asked me what I wanted for my birthday because it's my birthday in a couple of weeks and we've had a discussion and she's going to buy me an Elgato capture card so there can also be some Xbox One content arriving I have bought one previously from a well known high street pawnbroker but it had to be returned because my PC wouldn't recognise it but I was gutted about that because I really wanted to test it out and do some streaming and some videos with that it wouldn't even work with my other PCs on my laptop so there was a problem with the card uh, I rang them up and I told them about it and they were fine and they said yeah just return it and we'll refund you your money but I downloaded the correct software and drivers and it weren't, it weren't for working uh, I tried the troubleshooting, changing USB ports, and it just, my computer just wouldn't pick it up. But that's just the way it goes sometimes, isn't it? That's how the cookie crumbles. But hopefully, there's going to be some Xbox One content in the next few weeks. Might not be good. I don't know, because I've never, I've always used um, OBS and SOBS. As my recording software off my PC but I don't know what this content will be like so we'll see we'll I'll have a look do a couple of recordings with it and a couple of captures and we'll just see how it goes see what the quality is like oh well, we started our journey in every room it's completely different than from the normal game in your own truck heavy rain mod and I've installed that from the Steam Workshop and there's a few parts of this mod going to Euro Truck Simulator from the Steam go into the Steam Workshop and search for Dark Master you'll come up with heavy rain mod and realistic thunder mod all you have to do hit, your subscri hit the subscribe button on both parts of the mods and it will automatically download them to your mod file there your Euro Truck Simulator go to your mods and just add them once you're in your game if it starts heavy rain and just put your head out of your window and listen for the thunder just so realistic 
and if you've noticed my mirrors are different you get a different view from my mirrors than you would do in the normal game and that's because I downloaded a mod from the Steam Workshop again that makes your mirrors your view more realistic but it's also the same just go into your Euro Truck Simulator, your Steam Workshop go into Steam go into Euro Truck search in the Steam Workshop and all you have to search for is True Mirrors FOV and install them Go in exactly on. the same way and you'll notice the difference that when you're driving you look down at the, the road when you're driving and you can see the gap is much bigger and when you're reversing the field of view is more realistic than if you had the normal mirrors the normal view from Euro Truck Simulator but the two two good mods got a few more mods that I've got they're just traffic mods and you know companies and everything voice navigation but we'll go through them in a different video at least that weather's cleared up and it's just getting a bit darker because the sun started to go down but at least it's dry I'm going to leave the side lights on for the time being but we're going to soon be approaching the border and crossing over into Serbia I reckon we should be at our delivery point at about 8pm in the game time but I am quite surprised by me driving at this moment in time because by now I've normally dinked somebody's car or they've run into the side of my truck this, the AI on this game are absolutely stupid absolutely mental they've got no brain sometimes and don't get me started on the roundabouts because they don't even stop uh, you can be halfway across a roundabout and then all of a sudden you'll get a fine because some divvies run into the back here or run into the side here so I'm just going to continue driving and I'll see you when we get nearer to a point of delivery
go straight on. right and then turn right. Turn right.
Keep left and then turn left. Turn left. Keep left and then turn left. Turn left. Keep right and then turn right. Turn right. So I'm just gonna let George on security know that we're here, so he can lift up the barriers. Nice God, I forgot it's an automatic gate. Oh, he's watching his telly again. Jesus. George! George, you deaf get where do you want this? So I'll always try the most difficult parking manoeuvres. Uh, that looks straightforward, but it's it never is. They're gonna put me right over in the corner. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna drive over, assess the situation, and then totally balls it up. I think I've been off a bit too much here coming in on this approach. That's me though. Jumped in head first. Which clown decided on the most difficult parking? I'm gonna have to turn it around and try and get this the other way. I'm a bit busy at parking.
in out, in out, shake it all about. I'm getting there slowly but surely. Who puts them trailers in the way? We're nearly there now, so we're just going to straighten this up, and there we are. So I just want to thank you all for watching, and until next time, happy trucking. That's Doug the Bug signing out.